Snoop we just did. Hey Raid, how's it going? Pretty good, man. Are these guys dueling for uh, faction choice, or is it? It's predetermined. Uh, a team gets uh, picked before the map. So okay. Each week, the teams that are in, uh, they get a buy. What is the CJDT? I don't even know. It's the John Calamity's tournament. Uh. Similar to Nasty Rules, um, each map you spend four rounds and then swap factions and another four rounds. And then um, it's a minimum of two maps, maximum of, well we've done three. Um, the third map is usually a tiebreaker map. And uh, you actually get scored as a team based on the maps that you win, not necessarily based on the match win. It's a little odd that way, and sometimes it drags on. You said four rounds? Four rounds. The first of four, or just four total? Okay. Four total. Yeah. And I believe that uh, um, a tie round, a draw, doesn't count. Yeah, draws don't. It's cool to see, you know, tournament stuff going. I just know last uh, season when we played Nasty and Marnie went to the four. It was really frustrating because you didn't really get time to fill anybody out. It was just over so quick. Whereas, like, you know, it's tournaments, first to, or, uh, whatever, I think it was, first to seven. There's a lot, I think, a deeper strategy wise. Yeah. This one with Round Robin, I definitely like that better than the, the nasty tournament setup with kind of like designated ranks and you only compete against those teams. It's. I don't know, for me a lot more fun playing against everybody. Yeah. I think a ladder will with duels, but as far as battle goes, uh, round robin is pretty good. Or maybe even like a randomized bracket. Nobody's tried that yet. Yeah, that's fun. Announcement posted. Stream is gone. Where they start soon. So runes, vigors, yeah. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Swati's got a lot more glare ever since uh, Balian has just heavy cabbed all over everybody. Swati used to suck, but then NA found out about heavy cab and it's <laughs> a little bit better. Yeah. Wapa's been doing really well with it. Yeah, Wapa's... Just until their last match, they, they fought WK and WK. I, I think used what strategy Wapa had been doing, which is just cab spam with great lances. <laughs> but, uh, is there a thousand gold on it? <laughs> or is it 15 gold? It's 15. Yeah, that definitely makes heavy cab a lot more overpowered. You can get it from round one. Once you live once with your cab, too, it's straight to heavy. Uh, battle on wounds. I guess we're sweaty. I believe we're live. I know you want to hand out the uh, streamer. How's that? Kind of interesting that Laws bringing a nymph. Personally, I think it's kind of a liability, but I guess we'll see. So, what are the teams running with? Yeah. 
think we'll paw. No, uh, yeah, we'll paw. I think it's three cav for crossbow. And it looks like they're just splitting their expos. And I'm not sure about uh, Team W. Be okay they gave the archer just... shields. They gave the archer shields, so that's going to increase their survivability a lot. But they don't want to get into a shootout because they're going to run out of arrows pretty quick. Yeah, the distance is short. PQH is actually moving more right from there. Honestly, I don't know if shield up that much against a cav heavy faction like Swadia, because the biggest risk is going to be those great lances. That's the shields may not help that at all. I largely agree. I think a bigger uh, flaw, though, is Will Paw is really, really badly split. They have some guys in middle room and some guys all the way over on the left. And they're gonna get picked apart. A crazy boy and Mark up on the top right hill. Yeah. Will Paw's getting up on. If Tim W wants to catalyze, oh. they gotta go like right now. And they're crazy a little boy bit slow. Cushion for the kill. Daniel with the nice shot. Cheese looks a little oblivious too, running overwhelmed there on the corner. And it's surrounded by three, not much to do there. I'm not sure who's calling for TMW, but I don't really see Eternal or anybody. Uh, perhaps ruin the clock. Could be not Nice bump kill. Looks like Mark's the hoist near the center. Salted slug gets the hoist. MW seem to be out of sync, like, yeah, they're kind of yeah. slow on other movements and they're not really playing together, and I think that has to do with, I don't really see anybody on the team who I have seen call for them before. Man, it's down by the center of God, gets the last Yeah, even seeing Appa spread out the way they were, seems like... You know, they they were more prone to uh, have some mistakes in there, but it's like looks like both teams are are running three cav each. So I mean, the advantage should be pretty, pretty, pretty even, honestly. But um, Tim W is kind of like trying to run the Euro strat where they're just sending archers to corners of the map. But the problem is, is they're not supporting them quick enough when they get rushed. Hmm. Yeah. You saw last map when they get separated on the hill. It was one by one they kind of came to the hill. Yeah, I see. I think Crazy by 11, I recognize him from the Nations Cup. I think he's a Euro. Yeah, that might be why they're uh, running more Euro based strats. He yeah, unmained. Yeah. Also, Lust plays with them at times, so there's a lot of European influence. Mm hmm. Up us picking up, pushing up towards that picket wall there. Fire up. It's really interesting to get and then, uh, Black Tide in on these streams because they have completely different frames of reference for all this stuff. Yeah, yeah. Even when Lust and I were commentating, it was really having like that cross of E and NA. See, right now, Ruren for TMW, I mean, he's providing support for the archers by not letting the cab get close to him, but he's not doing anything because he's inf on, a, on an open map. I kind of question bringing infantry. Yep. But like I said, he is he is getting the cab away, so that that is good. Well, I was 
putting pressure on with him without the voice. He's also bringing the shield, that's important. Oh, and God just missed internal there. Yeah, he had a completely open look and he just missed it. You don't get many of those. Nah, uh, especially if your horse takes damage on the way in, that's a real game changer. This is exactly the kind of fight where Paul wants to fight though, because their crossbows have cover, and they can just reload and shoot, and they're gonna win, assuming evens go against archers every time. They don't go to internal. Oh wow, he is here. I also thought they didn't have both getting good kills. Yeah, so while Paul's got like a crazy boy on the uh, crest for uh, team dub as the last archer. Great kill, bitch. Clockwise all alone. Oh, that's harsh. Good kill, yeah. by cheese. <laughs> Yeah, this, the problem is, this crazy boy was all the way in that ridge, he wasn't really able to provide much effective cover. They're just so split. No, Wapa's sticking together nicely. Just crazy yeah. up on that ledge. And the cool thing is, crossbows can double his infantry so easily. You know, so it's so easy just to kinda... push whenever you need it, and shoot whenever you need it. Yeah. Yeah. That's a clean round by Wapa there. Yeah, that's an ace. So one other thing that uh, ATD did is uh, split the maps by type. So this is a mixed map, and then they have uh, open and closed. So um, the, the map choices are kind of separated, so you can choose one and then you have to choose a different type for the next. So that means all the mixed maps are out. It looks like TMW has two Enf, and they put clockwise as Enf. He's one of the best archers yeah, TMW has in his infantry. But once again, they send Crazy Boy all the way out to the right hill. So I don't know how much good he's doing out there. Well, with two Enf, the archers, you really have to push, and it seems like that's what they're going to try to do, but... I mean, he might as well just, you know, go all Enf at this point. Internal's not watching his back, too sweaty a calf coming behind on the art. And there you go. Man, just really, they look really out of sync and really sloppy. But on the other hand, Wapaw looks pretty, you know, they're, they're taking what they give them, so Wapaw looks pretty sharp. Yeah, they have, uh, they've definitely stepped up the, uh, NA cab. Uh, set a new stand. <laughs> uh, Wapa's well, got some great calf flares. The KOH is really split out here. I don't know. Get the tree all alone on the right side. Most of them are at the arch, and Crazy Boy's back on the top here. It really seems like Wapa is playing as a team, and TMW is playing as groups of one or two. I just watched the end of it all live like five times and we should have died. <laughs> I mean, TMW, like, I mean, they have good players right now. Mock's good, Num Num is good, you know, Clockwise is good. But between all of them, between all seven of them, they have two kills. No. Nope. So they're just not. They're not playing very well together. Guy is uh, taking down one in the three beat one he's in. Slot the slug with a nice kill at the end. Almost a clean up. Uh, it looks like. Five guys. Yeah. TMW. One arch, one MP. Interesting they went heavy cab and their biggest obstacle is gonna be the the enemy cab, I think, right? 
Yeah. Well, with five cav, I'm assuming you're gonna play for master of the field, and yet again they have Easy Boy off to the right by himself. The prime target for them. As soon as that archer's gone, the cav is pretty much walk over. Looks like VKRH is pushing more towards the left side with the infantry. Paul, those are great lances. Pause moving in slowly. PKOH has put themselves off of all flag locations except for the back one though. Yeah, especially with crossbows, it's really easy for crossbows to dig in. Yep. So I mean this would be effective on maybe field or obviously planes, but I'm not sure. Alright, Wap out of control center in the far right now, so two masses. And internal goes down the gun. It's D -Hort. We got here. Looks like Swap Ball's winning. Yes, Swap Ball's winning. I'm interested to see how this is out on the swap. Man, it goes down the ground. Salt the slug. Ooh, salt the slug picks up two. It's possible we'll see another zero four on the swap. Clockwise is in trouble. Once again, I don't think VKOH was patient enough with the calf and just kind of gave it up. Well, when you go with a particular comp, like, hey, we're going five calf, like, you really need to have a plan around it. Talk and... about to get you out in the back. I agree. Yeah, it makes no sense you, uh, weigh your ratio towards one class and not utilize that class. Yep. Definitely should have waited for mouse. Looks like 3v3 had run it back, depending. Yeah, that was some good teamwork team to be right there. Ten roll, taking down crazy. Yeah, being surrounded by crossbows like that is... Looks like Madness is just holding there. Yep. Yeah. yeah, lots of turtle and shoot going on. This go picks up my. It's a nice combo. Uh, Cause you can just back up and wait for the wait for the shot. Uh, it's never fun. Yeah, bad spot <laughs> for ruin there. Down he goes. Okay, so that's for the swap though for Wap. So if Wapa ends up winning uh, the first round in the after the swap, uh, sometimes uh, teams end up like moving on to the next map right away. Sometimes they'll play it out. Depends how much uh, they want to play. Team W has Cav, all hunters, and two cro two crossbows. Oh wow, five Cav. Uh, yeah, you can use that swap good. button, by the way, and it'll move the uh, names around in the scores. Yeah, it's it's kind of disappearing on me. It's... Um. There we go. There's the obvious choice here. I think I gotta figure it out now. 
Looks uh, like we'll pause. Man's, Archers. Man gave himself up. I'm not sure what he was thinking. He chose right Charging in the middle. Right in there with his horse. Clockwise, his horse is dead now too. It's yeah, they're kind of going one at a time. They got to hit all together or not yeah. at all. Yeah. yeah. They're not waiting Slug for the moment. Monster. They're just being very aggressive individually. They're not even pushing towards the uh, arch for any cover from Cav. Just sitting right in the open. See, Wapa has the same setup that TMW had there. The one infantry and the archers. And actually, that infantry is what saved him from, from mains charging through. It's a very safe setup, but in my opinion, it's not a very efficient setup because four arrows going into a horse's head is just as efficient as a spear. Yeah. <laughs> just how much, much, how much do you trust your archers, you know? Well, they can take the shots from a distance away and hit the horse, and it's obviously going to damp towards the horse. Even if it gets in close, because one slash, it can go down. If you have one inf and, th and three bows, and then the other side has four bows, you're going to lose in a shootout because you, that imp is dragging you down. So it really depends. So the slug picks up man at the end. Tim is like a really clan, and I'm not trying to sound like I'm hating on him because I'm not. It's just, I'm, su I'm just surprised more than anything because it seems like they're just... It's like they're not aware they're, they're in Palm or something. Well, the, the unison is really down tonight. Tunnel and Crazy Boy nice kills. Mm -hmm. Bit of an arch duel here being uh, Crazy Boy and Mafioso on the right. Jesus, throwing a few uh, arrows out there that way too. Yeah. This is one of the angles where being an archer as opposed to a crossbow is not not a good place to be. No, unless you get that lucky shot, it's kind of a losing belt. Mm -hmm. There's a there's a few guys that can pull it off, but I don't I don't know if any of them are here <laughs> right now. Picure H also has that crossfire on Moth there for the center. Yeah, if they can capitalize not that might uh, help to push the fight around a bit. But uh, while posting it, fairly conservative. Negating a double angle on the one individual. Master, Master on the right. far left. If it's Wapa. Ah, oh, great shot by Nom Nom. Looks like they're got Neanderthal going back on the hill. Not even on the flag at all. He's going to as the. Uh, Opposing team approaches. Should be easy for the crossbows. And that seems at this point you've got, uh, I guess, Kush on the flags, partially as a dupe, I would guess, trying to help the uh, KOH cross and Cav uh, try to target him, opening up them for shots by the archers. No time to reload again, though, so they have to make a choice to. Uh, they need to distance those horses to move and push in the right flag now. right now, or they lose. No. Yeah. Run, steam found and get the flag. Yeah. Great. The tunnel yeah, with the tunnel there. That, that changed the match right there. Mm. 3v2 in favor of Wapala. They also have the Kavla. Teamwork. And the suicide. <laughs> oh. Let's <laughs> kill my cheese. And Wapa will take this, this map. Is the first map. Do you uh, are you aware of who chose the first map? In fact, inside map inside the map infection. But I think Wapa picked this maybe. 
as they got last pick is Swadia. It looks like they're playing it out as well. So we'll see another three rounds. Clockwise goes in. Crazy boys in one of my favorite spots. <laughs> to sit with the cross. Too close. Slug almost had it. Yep. Cav came in the same day there. Splish Ruins. Ruins is a mix map, right? I believe so. I mean, you might see an open map pick next to it. I think if uh, VKOH picked this map, then I think Wapa is going to take the open plane. Dominate with yeah, the cab once again. Bad. But uh, if Wapa picked this, then it's definitely going to be a closed map. I guess got now two, uh, <laughs> gun. two crossbows on our here. Arch tower that is. No man, crazy boy. Mox horse goes down. Uh, he's getting bumped to death. Though. And Mock goes down. Nope, and Ryan misses his chance on cheese. Alarm's moving in hit. It's pretty exciting. Oh. And he's down. The knight's doing what he does. Is he more? Any older? <laughs> Might get another kill here. Good. Red Knight might want to mount, honestly. I'll run away. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> he just couldn't do it. A little greedy there. Bit of a moral victory. <laughs> uh, I guess now's the best time to introduce yourself, guys. KOH is only running the cab this time. Lots well, of crossbows. Raid's definitely here. 
Oh, I'm demon. They know. Behind guard. And I believe Snoop is still here, although we haven't heard him talk in a while. Yeah, he's been in and out. Might be time for a read. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nice, moving the shield. Oh, the wall post camp's gonna chase him away. Comes up behind cheese. Nice couch by Eternal. Crazy boy getting some good shots off. Yeah, that's two uh, nice oh. couches. Somewhat blends into uh, stone face. Somebody must have not called him. Bump lance. This heavy crossbow is exactly what KOA did on the match that you watched of us. Crossbows are just too powerful on this map, on, on the spawn. EKOH with five crossbow to calf. One of which is a heavy. And looks like Wapa is going for the uh, horse rush. The charge of glory. Oh, great stop by Cheese. Said salted up. Madness traps himself behind his horse. Clockwise finding himself outnumbered by Cav here. He's got five on. Oh, that's just painful to watch there. <laughs> Tough break to say least. Just running crazy boy now. Uh, crazy made it into the uh, picket ruins on the left side there, and I think ruins is by the woods. Yep. Crazy boy with the bump, cake slash. Tries again, but yeah, their thaw doesn't bite. That's so unfulfilling those cake slashes don't. Oh. Bite. <laughs> Before he and died. The next map. Let's see what they choose. Pretty sure the next one will be um, Team W's pick. Place your bets. Down a bush top, close them. Uh, 
Probably the most open of the closed maps. Yeah, really. I don't know, I'm there's not always sure Rina. I choose that because. Oh, I mean, that's me. Actually, yeah. Sadabush might be the openest, but I think uh, Desert Town is the biggest of the closed maps. Definitely. Desert Town is a great one to do with a bigger group, though. Oh, it definitely is, but I think uh, 7v7, I think uh, half the map needs yeah. to be taken out. I believe uh, WK did that against Wapa, and they had practiced on it, but, but it was just a matter of staying with a group of seven people as a clump and yeah. moving around. There isn't any splitting up or anything like that. It's more it's or less if uh, one team goes left, one team goes right, you're eventually going to find each other, but it's just, <laughs> it's right. just chasing you around the map. They happen to catch a lot of faction. Yeah, we got rods at north. Which is going to be north. And players don't know what teams they belong to. so handy that you have that. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh, man. So Such a relief to know is, uh, I get it myself now. Jeez. BKRH is running one cav. Yeah, it looks to be five infantry and Crazy Boy is there. Well, Paul's gonna meet him here in the middle. Hammer time. Yeah, well, Paul's running. He's really uh, over that hammer. One heavy yeah, cav to crossbow and the rest are inf. Up up was really out. stuck here at the start. Of the, they're a little closer together now, but man, they were split up at the beginning. Clockwise with a nice double kill. God with another count. Ooh, fuck, it's a TK. Those TKs really hurt. 7 on 7. Mark is having some issues though. I believe he's lagging, he's also freezing. Mark's also on map. Gearage also has a cap. Oh, Neanderthal's up away from death. As long as I keep that cap up, and I think they have that. Mm, might not keep that cap. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, crossbow's oh. tucked away pretty well. Mock needs to push him. Oh, oh wow. Well, well. Oh. Ooh, great shot. Yeah, that was two chance win. They missed both of them. QH has uh, dropped the O2 and picked up an extra cap. And Wapa is. They dropped both crossbows. Favorite infantry, one cap still. And they're going straight at it again. I'm not sure that's the best idea here because there's so many places where a crossbow can reload on this map. I think the crossbow yeah. back much better here than the archer factions. Is that? It's again another closed map. Lots of places to hide. So definitely. Nice throw it. 
100 ping. <laughs> 104. Daniel's all alone by the two cab out there. And we have uh, Kush and Ruder battling it out 1v1. I think if Team Ryu can get over their teamwork issues, they're a lot better suited for this map. This could be their map pretty easy. I agree. They don't have the best cav, but they have solid imp and good range. I agree. Although, I, I, it's a much more even match. Um, I, I think both sides have solid infantry and... So oh, this is the bomb. Yeah, I mean, by no means am I saying that it's guaranteed to TMW, they just have a much better chance. Like, on the last map, I yeah. just don't think they have Cav to hang, but here they have a, a Yeah, I would shot. agree with that, I would agree with that. Crazy Boy gets that uh, heavy Cav at the end there, that's gonna help him out. And Wapa have dropped the Cav, and have uh, picked up two crossbows again. Looks like they're gonna push yeah. into a uh, graveyard there. Yeah, yeah, you're probably going to see him nipping it. Oh, they're coming out the other side. Not seeing any hips. Oh, that's a bad TK at the start. Yeah, those TKs are He so makes much. up for it. Again, Wapa's pushing in a spot where the Expos don't have the advantage. Yeah, it's actually a disadvantage. See, now they have the support of the expo up top, but they shouldn't have pushed in that quick. Yeah, they have one going to take care of him. Got the spear assistance now. Lock is surprised, Lock. Mark's got three on, all he needs to do is turtle. Yeah, there's Get another old. TK. Yeah, those TKs. Those TKs. Yeah, yeah, so nice He's 7 on 7, man. Crazy boy held on to that heavy cab there. It's gonna help him out again. Oh, they're going right this Wapa. Taking low road. They've got a heavy cab. Yeah, PKOH is headed back towards the graveyard. Yeah, it looks like they're going to try to sweep uh, the VKOH spawn by. Because now they're uh, looking for them. Yeah, this is a. Uh... Looks like this they're going to take a really fun the... place to hold. There's the Sally. Yeah, let's take the ladder to point. Mm hmm. Got to watch for the. Uh... PKOH cab coming through though. Because they could sweep from the opposite side, which is look. They might be heading for that soon. Looks like Wapa is much suited here with the expos up top. Yeah. Yeah, they've got a good spot. Oh, just wait for Master. They're, yeah. they're really well dug in. Hey, you should push those guys from behind. Yeah, now they're all on top. A couple of them are, but they're not together. And this pulling out a hammer on the top, that's a bad spot. For Crossbows are just in the field there. Well, that was a little too sad. Madness is gonna get overwhelmed with that hammer. <laughs> He's gonna have three guys. Oh my god. He might just pull it off. Mock turned around at the <laughs> wrong time and gave it to him. Ah, nice job, bro. I'm surprised what pause suppose aren't doing more work. Yeah. They've, yeah. they've had plenty of. Yeah, they don't seem to be uh, taking out the, the primary targets. Advantage. Four v three in favor of Wapa. Three v three, imp versus two range. Euro down.
So in order to tie it, Wapa needs to win at least three rounds, correct? Yeah, uh, that's correct. Even if tied this map, the match still goes to Wapa. Instead of yeah, two points, so, they just get one. So Team W needs three uh, rounds out of four. That's right. In order for this to move on third map, yeah. Yeah. The better of their shit together, all I'm saying. I think they're comfortable as Rodago, so. And I hope they gave clockwise a bow, a uh, crossbow. No, no, he's just infantry. Yeah, they're right two bump cap, huh? Shaking my head. Looks like the rest are all empty. Yeah, they're holding their spawn out right now. They do have a great hammer. They have two. Two hammers. Looks like uh, my pa has an archer. Yeah, one archer, two calf. Restaurant. Looks like, yeah, they're swinging back. Foster is in a bad spot here. Got between all. Yeah, but I'm surprised he's still alive. Cheese over nice cheese. Looks like Eternal's in your grab chair. Once again, it looks like VKRH is just getting too separated in the infantry fight. Yeah, I agree. Wapa had a nice infantry clump surrounding a few guys there. Well, one or two, two of theirs kept everybody else busy. So that's their round drop. They have to win all three, correct? That's correct. Yep. Up by madness there. Going for the heavy. Still incentive to uh, to play on at least one round after this if they lose, just because uh, they could prevent a mapping, which will reduce Wapa's or, <laughs> or potential score. Looks like VKRH is running two heavy cav along with one expo with the rest of infantry. Wapa is spreading themselves out quite a bit. Got a cluster of about three or so on low road. I'm just swinging up by the ladder. Very right. odd brother they have. KOH is holding on the bunker entrance. Cav watching their flank. This one might just go downstairs. I suppose in this case, that is realizing they are uh, really needing to get the last three wins, so they're probably playing it safe. Wait for those flags. Though, of course, that has always uh, worked to a team favor. <laughs> I think they need to preserve the heavy cab instead of chasing them out. I'm give the Rodok cab advantage in. A flag rush. This map with the hiding spots for the cross to reload, I, I would say. Products have the advantage here, but. Yeah, I'd have to agree with that. I think 
like uh, VKOH if they do manage to win that. I think they need to pick up another expo. Yeah. Although it's it's dangerous picking up lots of ranged against Nords. And VKOH is actually Lost coming out. Shot. Swing low siding eye. Heading out towards the uh, the other flag spawn and uh, nice little grouping orts. If they are able to watch their backs from Cav coming around the corner, it's a pretty good place to hold off. Oh, bad place to lose both your cap. Yeah. Yeah. Should have waited till they were engaged. Yeah, I would have thought. Uh, Again, VKH. Uh, go ahead. VKH just staggered in one by one there and they got taken out one by one. Yeah. And that'll do it. Wapa picks up the two points. Looks like they're calling it. Gonna play the map out or no? They want one more. Uh, I think they're gonna give it to him. Maybe not. If uh, Team W ends up getting one more, set up my back. So uh, two two at the swap. Going into the next week, WK is already. Two points ahead, I believe. Yeah, we gotta stop them. <laughs> I think uh, if we can beat them and get two points out of it, then we tie them. Up. EKH is pushing them on the, the spawn left. Yeah, that's two point for the Paul. And that's the end. Alright. Big event scrim going at nine o'clock. So make sure you guys tune in for that. Yeah, one hour. I'll see you then. Thanks for everybody coming to commentate.